Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a portable solar panel from Zoop. It's a 100 watt, 16 bus bar variety. So let's go and open it up and see what we have. All right, this thing is packaged very nicely. All right, there's the panel. And it feels like there's something else in here. There we go. And then there's also a bag that has, uh, it looks like MC4 connections. Uh, to a variety of, of connections. XT60, 8mm, uh, uh, 5521, and Anderson connections. And there's also an adapter uh, as well. And then there's a, a whole slew of adapters. So this, this panel can be connected to basically any, any power station and, uh, and directly to like a solar charge controller. All right, and all you gotta do is, it's, I like how it has, uh, it's magnetic, so you don't, you don't have like a, a belt or a bolt, anything that kind of snap it together, it's just magnetic, so that's really nice. Uh, I know the panels, like I said, are 16 bus bar, and also this thing is super light. I mean, I, th I, think, uh, I think it only weighs like eight or nine pounds, so that's really impressive. This, I mean, I could easily carry this anywhere. And if you look on the inside zipper, we have a, uh, a USB-A port, a quick charge USB-A port, and a USB-C port. I believe the USB-C is rated for uh, 18 watts, but we'll have to check. Yeah, 18 watts. And if we talk about the other uh, voltages and amperages of this panel, uh, again, it's a 100 watt panel. Uh, the maximum power voltage is going to be 19.8 volts. Uh, the maximum power current is going to be 5.05 amps, but the open circuit voltage is going to be 23.8 volts, and the short circuit current is going to be 5.35 amps. And then on the inside, we do have MC4 connections right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up this panel. Uh, it also has two legs, which will keep it at a 45 degree angle, which is perfect. I'm going to go ahead and connect this panel up to a Dobson uh, 2100 power station and we'll see what kind of uh, we'll see what kind of wattage I can get out of it all right I have my Dobson uh, actually connected up inside and I have some MC4 connections connected from the Dobson to uh, right out here so let me go ahead and just set this up real quick you know it just takes a second put these legs down Okay, I've got the Dobson app up on the screen. So let's go ahead and plug in these panels and see what it shows. Just positive to positive, negative to negative, super easy. All right, it's connected. And you can see this Dobson is at 8% because I'm actually running an air conditioner in this, uh, in this tent right now. So it's really pulling that electricity. So this 100 watt panel, you know, it's gonna help out. All right, we see, I see 64 watts right now. All right, there we go. I, see, I saw 96, now I see 91, 97. Look at that, 99. And this panel has been outside all day and it is 95 degrees outside. So, uh, I mean, this panel is hot, is what I'm saying, it's very hot. And you know, and it's giving us, it's giving us 97 watts, 99 watts. That is pretty impressive. And another thing I like about this panel is it's IP67 rated. So it is completely dust and waterproof. So it could be sitting out in the rain uh, during a dust storm. It doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, you're not going to get any solar during those times, but you can just leave it out. You can leave it, you know, just hanging on your tent all night and all day. That's what it's made for. And look at that. We're getting 100 watts right now. That's pretty impressive for a, for a, uh, for a, a portable foldable panel. Uh, all the other panels I've ever looked at, you know, if I got 80 or 85 watts, I was, I was pretty impressed. I was happy with that. But this one, we're getting, we're getting rated wattage. We're getting 100 watts out of a foldable panel. Well, that's only like what, eight or nine pounds, which is amazing. And also, it comes with all those adapters. So it doesn't matter what kind of power station you have. Uh, or if you just connect it straight up to a, a, a solar charge controller, it can handle anything. All right, so if you have any questions about the Zoop 100 watt portable solar panel, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll have a link to this item and everything else I used in my description, just in case you wanna look further into it. Thank you again for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.